Hi, my name is David Baudouin. I'm the Squeaky Cheese Guy, Canadian Cheese Ambassador, and today I've created for you some amazing simple bites that you can enjoy at home. And those are all made with Canadian cheese and the best dried fruits and nuts in the country, Rancho Vignola. Bonjour, David. Bonjour, Richard. Pour toi, bon santé. I'm so delighted to be here because this is Actually, I'm having lots of fun doing this. I and can see. I the can best see. part after you've looked at it, because it's gorgeous, is to eat it and yes. just enjoy. Yeah. There's always a way when you're having many bites like this, yes. is to work usually from the mildest all the way to the strongest. Okay. But as you know, with everything fun in life, you can break the rules as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So which one is the most tempting to you to start with? I would love to try your squeaky cheese and our mango. Very, very simple. You just take the mango, a piece of fresh squeaky cheese, and then you add a little drizzle of white balsamic reduction. I've used uh, all of us peach balsamic. And you do get a little bit of all the flavors coming together. Well balanced. I'm really curious to try the apricot. Apricots are perfect because they make just the perfect recipient. So this is uh, Arla's mascarpone, which you can get pretty much anywhere. Why don't you try this one with the honey orange almond on it? Because mm. in mascarpone or uh, cream cheese, you get lots of butter fat and dairy fat is all the flavor. So don't be scared. It'll make your skin glow and it'll just make you healthier and happier. Playing with texture is also a great thing. This is such a good combination. Mm. Yeah. Wow. For the next one, I think I'm going to try something really unusual. The fig and we have a blue cheese set on a white chocolate. All of this is kind of uh, interesting because you don't think cheese, chocolate and as well as the fruits. Oh. But in all truth, who doesn't like chocolate? The blue cheese is called Tiger Blue from Naramata in the Okanagan Valley. It's one of the great blue cheese we have in the country. One of the smoothest because it's very, very creamy. As I'm chewing on it, that blue cheese still stands and I can uh, taste the fig flavor there and the chocolate is just so wonderful. David, you're the cheese whisperer. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> My next one is going to be the date. Here we have your medjool date. So I just took the pit out and I added a little bit of balsamic reduction with a little blue cheese. And this cheese is actually uh, quite available. It's called Castello uh, Gorgonzola. So it's all made with Canadian milk and it's very creamy. It's a beautiful entry level blue because the date has so much residual sugar. The cheese with its natural salt to it. It's very rich and delicious. And if you have a second bite, you can try it with your uh, beautiful red to just round it all up. Good idea, David. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> We're all about pairing things here. And what I see is a pear. So that's going to be my next try. Well, Richard, I love to work with the pears that you have because for anyone who's gluten free, this is the best thing to use for a cracker. And not only that, it works amazing with cheese. So you use a brie just like uh, this guy comes from Maple Ridge in the lower mainland, Golden Ears Cheese Crafters. And the rind is a natural fungus that grows on the cheese that gives it nice earthiness that balances out the sweetness in the pear. And then I added a little bit of my homemade red pepper jelly to just round up with sweet and a little spice. One bite deal. That was a good bite. So we'll let Richard just assimilate all the flavor working together in his mouth and also the combination of texture. Mm. Because when you make those simple three ingredients or sometimes two ingredient bites, it's good to combine crunchy, uh, a little squishy, a little soft. It's mm. just about playing. Well, wow, this one looks interesting to me. It looks so simple. So I use Natural Pastures uh, Pacific Cracked Pepper Verdelet, which is kind of a Havarti. It's softer in texture. Monterey Jack works well with pepper or habanero because the ginger, it actually feels on the heat wherever the pepper would not fit in. So it feels all your sensation and it's just such a great balance and taste. And by the way, I've tried this with both mm -hmm. the uh, candied ginger 
ginger and also the naturally dry ginger. Mm -hmm. And both of them work very well. Mm -hmm. So depending if you want to have a little more sweetness on the outside or not, they're both delicious. It's so amazing. That ginger uh, bite and the sweetness bounces with this pepper cheese. I taste the pepper there. I taste the ginger, different spectrum of the spiciness. It makes like, a, I would call it like a, a broad band of flavor. So exciting. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I want you to try like two ingredients, just like you did with the ginger. We have one of the best cheddar in the country. It's made with a clot. So it's a clot bound cheddar from a farm that has amazing milk right in the lower mainland. It's called farmhouse cheese. And this is four year old, lots of beautiful crunchiness to it. So that's why it's always good to have nuts earthiness, sweetness in the cheese, and there's lots of nuttiness that comes in the flavor. Mm -hmm. So that's all you need is to just put them together. This is another one. It's a foreign cast and it's smoked naturally. So it has a natural sweetness. It's creamy in mouth. And this is where it's awesome to add. Sous savory nut mix. The recipe is on our website, really easy to make. And the flavor profile will probably work very well with that smoky cheese. Or you yeah. get the hickory are uh -huh. just yeah. amazing yeah. to go with a cheese like uh, boring cast from Natural Pastures. The nuts, you can pair with any of the cheese trying like this, but a Gouda, a cheddar is always a good mm. uh, pick. Yeah, you'll be full after this, eh? <laughs> it's good. If you keep eating, cheese help you break down the food you ate so you can always eat more cheese. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's one left. We had a nice Raincoast Crisp, and then I have Naramata Bench Blue, which is perfectly prime right now. This is where your cranberries really shine. It adds the perfect color to the blue Camembert, and it just rounds up with the tartness and the little sweetness to it to just bring everything together. You are a master. It's made with love. <laughs> yeah, it is indeed. I can taste it. <laughs> all right, Richard, now that you've gone through all of them, which one's your favorite? Oh, this is a tough call, I tell you, because everyone offered so much and all these ingredients become so harmonious in your mouth and you're having this beautiful taste experience. I would say the ginger and pepper cheese. Mm. What's my favorite? Yes. Hmm. Oh my goodness. There is so many aspects to each one of them that make me like want to say this one, this one. Uh, can I ever decide on one? 